Prime Minister Najib Miqati handed his resignation to the Lebanese president on Saturday morning, the night after his 18-month-old government, which included the militant Shia group Hezbollah, collapsed. The resignation has left many Lebanese wondering what's next. I don't think it's going to matter much. It's the same thing. I mean, they keep on changing, but it's always the same. But I'm just worried about problems happening between people because that's what always happens when things like this happen. I think it was mostly meaningless. Uh, governments in Lebanon resign and are reassigned every day. Um, business goes on as usual. Some are trying to stay hopeful. Lepati's move could pave the way for a unity government. But most people don't have such hope. Al-Mustaqbal, which is close to the March 14th opposition camp, said Miqati jumps off Assad's ship. Al-Akhbar daily, close to Hezbollah, accused Miqati of succumbing to U.S. and Saudi pressure to start a confrontation with Hezbollah. Miqati says his resignation was his decision alone, with no pressure from any outside forces. As Safir daily asked, why now? There is consensus here. The root of the crisis lies in the Syrian conflict, which has polarized Lebanese and crippled Miqati's government. For now, Miqati's cabinet will continue to run the country as caretakers until a new government is formed. But neither camp in Lebanon has the numbers in parliament to form a government alone. Tensions over Syria are on the rise and have turned into armed clashes in some areas like the northern city of Tripoli. Next door in Syria, the war is raging with no end in sight. That makes it very difficult to see the rival Lebanese factions coming together at a time when their respective allies in the region are mobilizing for more confrontation. Rul Amin, Al Jazeera, Beirut.